Welcome friends, in this session we will start understanding the Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the voltage or the potential difference between two points is directly proportional to the current or electricity passing through the resistance and directly proportional to the resistance of the circuit. The formula for the Ohm's law is V is equal to IR. This relationship between current, voltage and relationship was discovered by German scientist George Simon Ohm. Let us learn more about the Ohm's law resistance and its applications. So basically Ohm's law is uh, dealing in uh, Ohm's law is dealing in three element. One is resistance Ohm's law we can describe at V is equal to I into R so the concept is very simple that voltage drop across a resistor or load is equal to current passing through the resistor multiplied by the resistance so if you see if you take if you take the very simple example of uh, based on ohm's law let me draw a source this is basically the ac supply source and here you can see we have connected here a resistor Okay, so if this is supply source is 10 volts and this is an AC source and resistance is 1 ohm, then we can use Ohm's law to calculate the current. So I will be equal to V over R. It means R uh, here V is equal to 10, R is equal to 1 ohm, so the current will be equal to 10 amperes. So we can calculate current through it through by the Ohm's law. So it means 10 ampere current is flowing, and the voltage drop across this resistor is equal to 10 volts means all the voltage that, that are applied through source are appearing across the resistor so all the voltage appearing here there is no voltage drop across the source impedance or the line impedance so this is appearing so this is the simplest form of Ohm's law it means the resistance will try to oppose the flow of current if resistance is increasing then the current will decrease okay this is the one relationship if the resistance is increasing resistance will try to slow down the flow of current so if resistance increases the current decreases in the same way the voltage will try to increase the current so if the voltage is increasing then the current will also increase so we can say here that voltage versus current relationship is directly proportional so it's called as direct proportional and distance versus current relationship is inversely proportional inversely proportional so these are the two relationships okay that we we have studied here and this is the basic concept of uh, Ohm's law and uh, in the next uh, section we will study the concept of series and parallel circuits so let us now uh, see our next slide
so more uh, most basic component of electricity are voltage current and resistance ohm's law shows a simple relationship between these three quantities ohm's law states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across the two points so the example that we have learned here if for example we can consider if we see this is point a this is point b okay so the current passing through is directly proportional to the prior voltage if for example if we increase the voltage from 10 volts to for example if we increase from 10 volts to 100 volts okay so now if we make it from 10 to 100 volts we are increasing the now supply voltage 10 times so like it here the current will also increase 10 times so it will be kind of 100 ampere so now if we are applying here 100 volts then the current will also increase from 10 to 100 amperes so this is how the ohm's law is really working so here you can see the relationship between voltage and current is directly proportional so if the voltage is increasing the current is also increasing this is basically the direct relationship so the formula for ohm's law is voltage is equal to current into resistance so we can write it as V is equal to I into R so where V is a voltage I is current and R is resistance the SI unit of resistance is ohms and is denoted by oh, uh, this, this uh, symbol this law is one of the most basic laws of electricity it helps to calculate the power efficiency current voltage resistance of an element of an electrical circuit so this was all about the basics of uh, Ohm's law. So we'll move to our next topic that is application of Ohm's law. Thank you very much.